Jeff Taylor wins his qualifying heat race. It was heat race number three. Boy, you were out front cruising, and then all of a sudden you moved up, and bam, somebody filled that hole. Yeah, I saw the nose and just uh, knew I was losing a lot of speed in one and two, trying to, to stay on the bottom too much. And then once I moved up, it felt a lot smoother, more bite kind of came off faster, I think. Then I, I, I didn't know where he was, but just kept going. It felt, it felt good after that. The car was pretty smooth. Never saw him again, right? No. Okay. And they told you you actually pulled away a little bit. Did they tell you that? Yeah, yeah, that's what they were saying. And I definitely, I knew that I was losing so much momentum earlier, just early in one and two. Three and four felt really good, but okay. once we adjusted, it just seemed like so much better. What are we doing? Are we going to do much to the car? Are we going to leave it alone? Or are we going to wait and see if they do anything? I think it'll slick up a little bit. Hopefully, us having a 358 will kind of help a little. Oh, well, you're a 358? Yeah, we're waiting oh, for a big block to be rebuilt. So, this thing like last week was a little heavy with the heats and stuff. But, but I think the 358 might be good tonight. So, we we'll get the big block back. We'll just deal with this and hopefully it goes. And isn't the strategy when you do have a 358 to kind of run a little higher to, to keep it wound up? Yeah, I would say, depending on the track, I mean, if it's slick, it's, it's hard forever, but slick at the tracks, I struggle a lot more, but we'll see. I mean, I think I'm getting better. It's probably better to be with the 358 if the slick is off. I think, you know, you don't break traction as much, so, but right. we'll see. Hopefully, it should All be right. fun, though. Won the heat. Maybe we'll talk to him one more time. Good job, man. Thank you. Thank you.